Bedford police say a massive force driving the gun violence in the capital city has been removed from city streets. It's our top story at five. Thanks for being here. I'm Keith McGilvery. And I'm Sarah Sanchez. This comes after the arrest of more than 12 people in the organized crime group known as Get Money Steppas. Fox 61's Bridget Biorlo joins us in studio with everything we know about this case. Bridget, sounds interesting. Very. Sarah and Keith, detectives with the Hartford Police Department have been investigating this organized crime group for nearly a year year now with the police chief saying today the community is a safer place now that these violent suspects are off the street. 13 alleged gang members in custody for their role in a violent crime spree in Hartford and beyond. This, these are some uniquely violent individuals that were responsible for creating dangerous conditions in the city and that required a specific response from us. Part of the organized crime group Get Money Steppas, also known as GMS, that police say is behind a string of homicides, shootings, drug deals, stolen vehicles, and arson. And our community is a safer place today because of the 11 months of work by everyone here and, and by everyone that helped with this case. The Hartford Police Department and state's attorney's office teamed up for an 11 month investigation into the group's criminal conduct, building a case against more than a dozen of its identified members who are now charged with violating the Corrupt Organization and Racketeering Activity Act, among other crimes. The members of this group were a massive force driving the gun violence in our city. The weapons used in many of these acts were altered in a manner that enabled the firearms to operate as fully automatic weapons. At times, firing more than 100 rounds in a single shooting incident. So why did it take so long to remove these alleged repeat offenders from the streets? People don't often want to co uh, cooperate with us while people are still out, and it kind of creates an impasse. That's the advantage to a case like this. Now we're able to remove those individuals and that's why we're saying we're hopeful that we're going to be able to close some of our unsolved cases. And while this concludes part of their investigation, detectives say their mission of holding violent criminals accountable continues no matter how long it takes. If uh, you're going to commit an act like this and you think you got away with it because it's been six months or a year, we'll think again. Think again is the message the police are sending. Eight of the people charged are already in state or federal custody. The remaining five have been booked into jail. Some of their bonds, Keith, are as high as $750,000.